morning. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to go down to the beach and we're going to do a very special project, a very special Christmas piece for everyone at the beach and all of our YouTube watchers. And this is the artwork of what we're going to do. More or less. We might have to modify depending on the conditions. That's it's right. always how it is in this business. That's right. The tide that's will be right. challenging, as always yeah. is, for a piece like this that's raked in the beach. So but, tell but us. But today we did, we chose today for a specific reason. And um, perhaps when Greg's doing the editing, he'll show you the tide tables and why we chose today because we have a canvas on the beach and, and we're going to. Yes, let's do that so we can show the watchers and listeners and they can awesome. learn new things. So about tell us the about the new rakes. Well, we just picked up. Well, from the last video we did, we found out that plastic rakes don't work. So we've got two new things. This is like a rake you'd use on like a baseball field. Cover a lot of area, very rigid um, yeah, we'll put prongs, it down like I this. guess. I'm going to stand back. I don't want to get hit by the rake. Anyhow, we've okay. We've got a little bit of, a, according to True Temper, an 11 tine shrub rake. And hopefully the tines on this will be uh, stiff enough to get through the sand and not uh, lose all the nice detail and contrast that we're after. Great. However, I noticed that in the last video we did with our Thanksgiving piece, I thought that was the rake that saved the day. Yeah, these we know work really well. So we're going to be benchmarking how these two rakes perform compared to what we know is already a fantastic tool. And we, we may modify this tool. This is something that we do. And I don't know if Greg has other videos, but in his workshop, he will build his own tools. And then as well, Today we're going to be assessing how well this tool works. It may need some modification. It may need every other t uh, tine, let's call it a tine, like a fork, clipped off or perhaps these sharpened. And as well, we'll be assessing what that functionality... In this monster <laughs> has. No, and maybe what? this isn't Because this may not be good. This, this is heavy. We just have maybe to do the piece right really big. The drawing, this, but this, maybe this. it's good for uh, finishing up after a normal, you know, 3D right. art piece. How much do you think do. this rake weighs? I mean, we could get into a it's lot a of science five, here. It's not just the weight of the rake, but then the energy it takes to drag the rake. We've got physics here. In right? the last tool is, believe it or not, this... Um, fertilizer stick that you hook your hose to, I use it to actually do the layout of the piece. It, <laughs> makes, it makes a, a, it's like a great pole to draw this with. This is our scribing tool yeah. because it's at a point, you might want to sharpen that, honey. Okay. Uh, your tool bench. But that's something else we do. So. All right, let's All get right. on with this. Let's, let's do go. it. Let's do it. going to help us get down to the beach this morning. Matt, t tell us about what you're doing, what you do for uh, Salt Creek Beach. We work there every day. We work with Zach's, or we work for Zach's actually, the snack bar down at Salt Creek, and we bring people to the beach, and we bring them back up to the parking lot here. I love it. Thanks for your help. Glad to help. Glad to help. Thanks, and come see us. Getting a ride down, which is uh, luxury we don't usually this, No, get, we never, so. hardly, ever. Yeah, which means we're going to have to do a walk to pick yeah, up on We've been staff. working at this beach for many years, and we've always had to walk up and down with all our heavy, <laughs> heavy stuff. So having Greg doesn't the beach even... shuttle for just a simple buck, you get that nice life of luxury yes. up and down that hill. But, and but working. working for Greg... We don't even get lunch. Oh, no it's break. tough. There's no break. Is there a break? No, it's, it's tough, even... isn't it? Yeah. Well, it depends on how much you consider. <laughs> Salt Creek and Salt Creek Park is just like a paradise on heaven. Or in heaven. This place is so beautiful. And of course, some great surfing. I hear the surfs up.
no. Hey guys, have fun out there. The good news is, is that we have a lot of beach to draw on and the tide is still going out. So we should be able to get this art piece done. It'll be okay. Stand by. So right now, Greg is scribing the general area and we're gonna show you that. You're not gonna miss any of this, but what happens with filming and production is there's a lot of hurry up and wait. So. Greg was setting up some cameras and Alex and I were seeing how these new tools worked in the sand. So we lined them all up and we're gonna give you a little a little idea. We're gonna give you a little window into what our assessment was. So let's start with this big rake. I, I don't know what this is. This is a baseball field rake. So what happened right here in this spot right here, this was just kind of a normal, the pressure you would apply just to kind of drag a rake through the sand, and that just wasn't going to be enough. This rake is heavy, and so we really had to apply more pressure to get this look right here. So this rake will work, but we're going to have to apply more pressure. So it'll be interesting to see because that rake might get retired if it's not working. But these next rakes did a great job. So this smaller. This to me is a leaf rake. That's what I would call this, is a re for raking leaves in a small area. And that made the sand, uh, that brought the sand up and fluffy. Like, would you describe that? How would you call that, fluff? Yeah, fluffy. yeah, really fluffed the sand up. Yes. And of course, this one we know from last time, this is our tried and true, this rake. And then... Made in USA. And then while we were assessing and standing around and talking, I noticed that, you know, I'm like, wait a minute, what's going on here? We've got a straight edge on this rake. Can you see that? So we drug that over across the sand like this. And I said, oh my God, I go look at this. This is, what do we call this? The corrector? Air correction. <laughs> <laughs> actually stay in the repertoire of sand sculpting tools but well, we'll see that's why we're out here so we're all learning together Greg got out here and got a head start on the scribing and this is this is a lot of territory he's covering We're gonna start from the top of the Christmas tree, scribing from the top, if we've already done the star. Let's walk over there. See if you can see the outline of that star. How many feet, how many feet tall is this? Uh, it'll be maybe 200 feet tall. A 200 foot tall, Christmas tree of tidings and joy. So I don't know if you can see these scribe lines. It's There's a lot of sunlight out here. So I am pointing the camera lens in the general direction. And we are walking this first scribe line that's defining the height and the width of this tree and the entire piece. So I have a couple of questions for you. Okay. What was your first scribe line? The very first scribe line was... The outer side of the tree? The outer side of the tree, which kind of captures the whole piece. And I thought I would start at the top and work my way back up the beach. The tide's still going out, so we have plenty of canvas above us, which is good. The last time we came out here and did the Thanksgiving piece, we made it challenging. We gave ourselves a challenge. And if I remember correctly, it was three tools. And we also gave ourselves a time limit. Even though we had never done this before, 
Angkor and I think it took us about an hour and 40 minutes. So just now Alex has asked if it's, here he comes, if we, <laughs> if we should start filling in and fluffing up the sand while Greg is scribing because this piece of art has a lot of involvement. I'm going to go get the art. <laughs> Okay, I just got told I got to make this quick because Greg needs the art. But I wanted to show, the, show you this again and why it's important that we start scribing. Once the scribing area is done, that we start uh, filling in the artwork. Okay, I got to give this back. Someone's over my shoulder. Not yet. I'm worried like a rogue wave will come and wash it away, so I'm going to save it to last <laughs> when the tide goes off. <laughs> okay, so... So Alex is starting with the word joy, and I just asked him, Alex, you're not starting at the top with the star, and and his concern is that a rogue wave, the tide's not, the tide's working on going out, so, you know, every once in a while there's that wave that overreaches, and we don't want it to overreach onto our finished work. So here's Alex fluffing up the first word, the J, in the word joy. Okay. As I'm starting this J, I'm realizing the, the moisture content of the sand really changes how it breaks. The drier sand that we did up there, with a, kind of a sampling of the different breaks, it's behaving very different with this really wet sand down here. So I'll have to see kind of how it evolves. The little mini rakes still doing okay, but the sand is going to stay in chunks. I have to like go back over it to re kind of spin out. Greg is still scribing. It's 200 feet long, remember. And this fluffing technique, what I wanted to show you was, Alex, if you can show right here where this demarcation is, and there's this wall of fluff, that's done. That work is done. That area is established. And so I don't want to take my break and pull down into that and ruin that. So leave that. Leave that and start on your next fluffing area. And that way you're not you're not diminishing the degree of fluff that you've just created to fill in the letter. Alex, Alex is on the word hope. I did the little stars and Greg, listen to this, Greg is still scribing. Okay, so Alex just said, because we've got the surf out here and the breeze and you can't hear, we're not mic'd or anything, so he just said that he feels that that rake is better for pushing instead of pulling. And you know, I want to bring something up real quick, because if you go back and you listen to this video, help me, stem, stem, let's go over stem, okay? Because our kids are STEM all the way. You know, the science, technology, engineering, math. Is that what it is, Greg? Something like that. Something like yeah. that, huh? Well, they changed it. It's STEAM. And 
the A is art, that art is just important. And, you know, we, I wrote a blog article about the, um, the science of art or the art of science. And um, our kids are doing mathematical calculations since they were kids to figure out how they were going to build something. And um, they've now recognized and integrated the importance of art into this whole STEM. Alex has brought the beast out. Let's see how it works. Yeah, definitely a bigger tool for a bigger job. Nice. Well, right, right. That's why we have different tools to be able to mix it up. Yay! You see that mass production? You get all happy going, I don't have to do that all day long, right? finished the layout, so I'm going to start uh, raking and try to move this to closure. Joy, hope, love, and peace to everyone. And Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. finishing touches on it and it's a wrap and everyone's loving it. Hi Alex, um, you're here and you stumbled across us and you do drone I operation. Do, and yeah. you got one up right now. Let's take a look. Um, I'm going to try to zoom in here and see if I can. Well, there it is. Yep. Oh, how great is that? Yep. I love it. Beautiful ocean view. Thank you, and you're gonna be sharing these files with us, Alex. We greatly appreciate it. Yeah, the stuff you guys are doing here is important to, to the Orange County community, so appreciate you guys. Thank you, Alex. Uh, it's fantastic, yeah, so isn't it? I'll get a few views so you can see the ocean with it. I love it. The artists are enjoying their hard work. <laughs> there it is. Beautiful and, work, you guys. And we walked up two hills to get here. It was worth the walk, right? <laughs> so, so we were told on the walk up that it was yes. perfect. Awesome. Perfect was what we heard. Awesome. And we asked, does it read well? And they said, yes, it's perfect. I love it. So, and I have to tend to agree, it's reading amazingly this well. Was a, this is a very interesting, I'm going to call it star aligning day. It took us two hours, I'm going to say, give or take, because we, I think we got here at like um, 11. I don't know, what time did we finally get here? I think down on the beach, probably at noon. Noon? Well, then this is a world record right now because right, when I looked it? at my watch, it was 1.05. You were so we talking did it to Alex. Hour. And the other nice Alex is Alex and I were breaking down our base camp. And um, here's why it was a star aligning day. We came down here to bring all of you tidings of comfort and joy because those are things at this time of the year that we can do for you. We love you and we want you to be safe. Um, we love you and we want you to enjoy this piece and um, it was most curious what happened because we got a, a ride down here from the man that runs the shuttle 
and I think we're getting a ride back. I'm, I'm, we'll find out. That'll be part we'll, of the ending. We'll find out if he liked it. I wanna, but I wanna say too that we met someone named Alex, and he had a drone, and he offered to take the drone footage for us. So you're getting that extra special coverage in. That the was video. great, wasn't it? Th thanks, guys. I hope that you liked our piece and you like our video and that you like us and you like and share and subscribe and and write some comments below and and pass the video on this is like a big christmas card we love you and we want you to enjoy this thank you so much hi everyone thank you so much for joining us for this video we're so thrilled to have you uh, checking out our channel and seeing our work today's sculpture or rather sand art drawing whatever you want to call it uh, turned out really great. All the conditions just kind of lined up. We have fantastic weather. The playa, the big stretch of sand on the beach really gave us a huge canvas to work with. And we met some great people along the way who helped us carry our things up and down the hill. We had somebody out here, also named Alex, who was uh, doing some drone photography for us. And we'll, you'll probably see those clips in our video. Uh, big shout out to him. And you'll probably get a shout out in the credits as well. Uh, just all improving, you know, when we're helping each other and spreading the joy, spreading the love, you know, good days always kind of make themselves. So Merry Christmas, and I hope you enjoyed our fantastic sand art today. We actually created that. from inside the Ritz Carlton at the Raya restaurant. There it is, it's beautiful. Alex, now that we're back up at the van, we loaded it all up. What do you think about the tools? What's your assessment? Do you think they need to be changed? They need to... Mm, yeah, be... I think the rakes were a pretty good success today. You know, we had our doubts at the beginning. We thought, you know, maybe we might need to modify or change up. Um, but I'm pretty happy with how all the rakes performed. There's a little bit of a difference in how they raked on the really wet sand versus some of the dry sand, but I think we made it work. The you know, last time we came out, we had this little plastic rake that just wasn't any good, and the rakes we brought today were just leaps and bounds ahead of that. Good, good. And then I noticed um, you had made a comment on the way up to the car about this, to me, this was the least likable rake, and now- The big, and, chunk, and chunky now, rake. And now, what did you say? They're your thoughts, your words. Yeah, so- This uh, needs to show up. Uh, yeah, I wanna take this to some of our other projects where we need to rake a softer, dry sand uh, once we finish the rest of our 3D sculpture, because it can do like three rakes worth of raking in just one pass. So it's a time efficiency. Thing. Yeah. Exactly. Thanks. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, you guys. Thanks for joining us. Remember to like and subscribe. We had a great time with this one. Till the next one, we'll see you at the beach.